buy a foam board from the art section of a Rite Aid or a CBS or a Michaels, and then you draw random shapes, uh, large ones, cut them out with an X-Acto blade, make four or five templates, and then you use them as a stencil. You spray right through them, and then you can freehand it with the cutouts. I'm gonna show you both techniques. See, you can do this fairly quickly. And you can rotate the shape. It's not all looking the same everywhere. So now you see I have a little bit of overspray there. I'm gonna correct that by making a new shape and this one I'm gonna freehand. We have one shape there and then we just kind of move it around. You got another shape, and just go across. Like that, you got a custom shape. Thing over here. Let's go. Just like that. Okay, so I think it came out pretty darn good. Uh, went really quick and easy. Uh, it's better if you kind of go off the edge. We kind of figured that out later. So that side's a little better than this side. And uh, But I think I'm gonna leave it alone. And possibly we used too many colors. Um, probably should have gone with maybe three colors instead of so many, but I don't know. I kind of like the way it is. And uh, there you go, first camo wall. All right, here we are with the finished carport. Got the camo knitting. And we'll swing it around to the other side. Got camo 